Hey guys, so today we're going to be doing uh, simultaneous equations involving diagrams. We're going to be using the elimination method uh, in order to solve these diagrams. So if you use another method, uh, please watch the other videos about the other methods. To begin with, um, there is a bit of prior knowledge or some basic understanding of previous skills that is required in order to understand this video. So you need to have a good understanding of linear equations, algebra and substitution. So let's go into uh, this diagram here first. Uh, we can clearly see that it is a rectangle. Now, diagrams are very rarely drawn to scale, so you can't use your visual representations of you know how the diagram looks or if the line is straight, if the angle is correct. You have to look at the indicators on there. We can clearly see that here we're shown two lines, and on the other side we're shown two lines as well. That means both of those sides are the same in length. And on opposite sides here where there's a 7 and x plus y we can see there are single lines they indicate that both those sides are equal in length too so when we say for example x plus y equals 7 we have just verbally done an equation and here again 2x plus y equals 12 so let's write them down as equations first so we have 2x plus y equals 12 and we have x plus y equals 7. Now as we know with elimination we have to make the x or the y the same. We already have here y and y as the same 1y plus 1y. Now are we going to add or are we going to subtract these in order to cancel them yet cancel them out? So let's have a look if we were going to add them. If we have 1 plus 1 we get 2y and they don't cancel out. But if we did 1y minus plus 1y, that minus and the plus becomes a negative, so we know they cancel out by using subtraction. So I'm going to use the eliminated, el elimination method by subtracting those three different concepts together. So 2x minus x equals x, y minus y cancels out, 12 minus 7 is 5. So I know x equals 5, quite simply. Now that I know x, how am I going to figure out y? Now I'm just going to sub this back into either the first one or the second one. Now the easiest method is to sub it into the second one because I don't have to multiply by anything. So if I sub it into the second one, I have x plus y, and I know x is 5, so I can just pop that there. I have 5 plus y equals 7. And I know using the substitution method, or sorry, using the elimination method, um, we've found out x, now we've subbed that in. Now using equations to get y by itself, I need to minus 5 on both sides. And I get y equals 2. So the biggest hurdle here is to go from a diagram to an equation. Once you've got the equation, you use a simple elimination method and you get your answer. Hopefully that helped you.